How's it going, gang? Uh, I was hoping to have a nice clear sky for glassing tonight, and so far that's been the case. So far, I haven't been able to turn anything up. We should be getting some weather uh, starting tonight into tomorrow and tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Depending on the amount of weather that I get tomorrow, I might actually go up high. I've been thinking about it a lot, and the spot that I'm looking at right now, I'm probably, oh, I think I'm only at like 55, 5,800 feet. Um, obviously it shoots up. Um, there's parts of it that are 7,400 feet, give or take, but um, it just doesn't really strike me as an early season spot. I'm going on day number Gosh, 22, I think, day number, let's see, three, six, so I had seven days, I had seven days the first week, four, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty, yeah, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Sunday will be my 24th day in the field. So, I think I'm giving this tag the credit it deserves by spending as much time here as I can. I'm gonna get back to glass and I just wanna check in and uh, let you guys know where I'm at, how things sit. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. This will be after the fact, but still, good vibes. Later. Well, quick report. I'd say there's probably 30 head, 30 or 40 head in this group. And there are two slammer bowls. And I am shaking already, man. I got... I got some serious nerves right now. Um, there's a couple problems. Not problems, just obstacles actually. I, I, they're not problems. The first obstacle is they're very close to the private boundary. Um, looking at the onyx, trying to do my best to reference where they are sitting. Um, they're right there on the edge. And the other obstacle is that they are probably they're probably three miles away from where I'm at. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hump to get back into them, but um, it's doable. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> it's gonna be really cold. It's a good thing I got this beard. But yeah, three miles away from where I park the truck and leave it through some pretty a pretty serious country it's pretty steep i'm gonna keep looking at them i'll check back in with you uh probably not until the sun goes down well night number one in the truck got some netflix going i got service here so it's pretty nice making some dinner uh, just kind of Settling in for the night. I got some uh, Mountain House Adventure Meals chicken and dumplings. This is my favorite one. It tastes like chicken pot pie. It's like my favorite microwave meal when I was a kid. I got my bed set up back here. Kind of see it there. Be able to lay out. I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Uh, I'm making some breakfast. All right. All right. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> last night was uh, was not too bad. I stayed pretty warm. Um, I talked to my cousin Lauren, who's been hunting with me most of archery season, and uh, today is his birthday. So happy birthday, uh, Lauren. Uh, you are. Shoot, 24 years old today? 23 years old. I'm pretty sure you're four years. We're four years apart, but 
anyways, happy birthday, buddy. Um, thanks for helping me out this year. Looks like the sun's finally starting to come up. I got my breakfast made, so I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get to glassing and hopefully glass up a good bowl. And um, we're just going to be pretty much hanging out here the whole day. Got to make one quick run into town, but other than that, it's going to be sitting on these elk and making a plan for tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, well, I uh, spotted the elk um, that I watched go down, work their way down the ridge last night. They uh, they came out pretty much on the same face, or right near where I thought they were going to come up. Um, there's probably half of the elk that I saw last night. Um, I can see one bull. I know for sure it's a bull. I can make out his horns pretty well. <laughs> But uh, I can't uh, I can't tell exactly how how big he is. I can just I can just kind of make out his frame, um, which is good enough for me. Honestly, I I'm not really gonna be uh, too picky on size. Uh, I would be very happy with that his bull right there. So yeah. Um, Kind of the plan right now is just hang out and uh, watch these elk and just see where they go, what they're doing, pattern them, try to pattern them a little bit. Uh, so far, they've literally just fed out onto this whole open hill face here. And they've been there for like the last two hours. That was where I saw them. And uh, as soon as as soon as I could see, had enough light to see, you know, through the lens up, and they were right there. Looking at this guy, man, I I'm pretty happy with what I see, and uh, I'm gonna throw the camera on him so you guys can get a look. Probably, hopefully, um, I don't know how. It's he's two and a half miles away from where we're sitting. Exactly, straight line um, through the lens is two and a half miles, so it. it might not you might not be able to see it very well on the camera but i at least want to get some footage of him for you guys so yeah all right we'll throw it on there solo tomorrow back in there with a the fat bowl so hopefully uh, I get him and uh, and by the time um, help arrives uh, I'll be uh, be ready to start packing so that's the plan that's the goal <laughs> <laughs> 